Hello, this is Joe Neville and I'm back with another BGP in-depth video. Coming up, we're going to be looking at BGP Med. What is it and how is it used? Then I've got a demo for you, then that's it. Okay, BGP Med. Med stands for Multi-Exit Discriminator and it's a BGP path attribute. So this is an attribute that's included in BGP Update. So when BGP sends prefixes to neighbors, it can include this information. It was originally called Inter-AS Metric and as we go into the details, that name should become more apparent to you. The attribute has a value which is called the metric and sometimes med is also referred to as just metric. Okay, the reason for using med is to determine the best path if multiple links to neighboring autonomous systems exist and lower is best. So a lower med value, so a lower metric is considered the best route. Here's a simple illustration of how MED is used. So I've got two autonomous systems here. We've got AS65002 and AS65001 down here. As you can see, there's two paths between the AS. So this left path and this right path. Both of the devices in AS65002 are advertising the 1099 zero zero slash 24 network down into AS65001 via eBGP. Here you can see an update with a med value of 200 and over here we've got a BGP update with a med value of 150. All other things being equal, the right path will be the best path because it has the lower med. I kind of think of MED as the opposite of weight and local preference. This is because weight and local preference are local attributes that are set, say, in this example, they would be set on AS65001 for deciding the best exit from the AS, either the left or the right path. But MED works in a different direction, so it's an attribute to influence the incoming traffic from a remote AS. So we would, in this example, we would set MED in AS65002 to try to influence the way that the ingress traffic was entering the AS65002 coming from the neighbouring AS. So it's an attempt to influence the best path that's used by a neighboring AS rather than locally. Okay, let's have a look at a few more details about MED then. So it is an optional non-transitive BGP path attribute. Now, what does that mean? Optional in this case doesn't mean that it is optional whether it is included it actually means that it's optional that the BGP speaker understands the attribute. So an implementation of BGP doesn't actually have to understand MED. That's opposed to the well-known attributes such as Next Hop and AS Path that must be known by a BGP speaker. And non-transitive, so what does that actually mean? Well, looking at the RFC for BGP 4271, the quote is, unrecognized non-transitive optional attributes must be quietly ignored and not passed along to other BGP peers. So this is essentially saying that BGP speakers do not need to understand BGP MED but if they don't understand it and they receive an update that includes MED, they must drop it. The opposite of this being an optional transitive, which means that if they do not understand the attribute, they just pass it along. Non-transitive, if you don't understand it and you receive this attribute, drop it. Okay, some further details from the RFC about MED and how it is propagated. So the quote is, if received over eBGP, the MED attribute may be propagated over iBGP. Remember, this is between ASs, so we're going to be sending it across eBGP, and if it's received across an eBGP link, and you've, it can be sent over to an iBGP neighbor. And the next point is the MED attribute received from a neighboring AS must not be propagated to another neighboring AS. 
Okay, so to illustrate that, I've drawn some diagrams here. Now, this is the first point. So 65002 sending med down to another AS, a neighbouring AS, AS65001. That's okay because that's coming across eBGP. If that is then sent across an IBGP session to a peer, that's okay still. But if this update from 65002, that med value, was then sent on to another AS, that's not okay. So this behavior is forbidden. BGP speakers must not do this. That's not to say that the devices within AS65001 can't send med down to this other AS. They can do that, but it would be a new med value. So it's not the same med value that then gets forwarded on from 65002. It's one that would originate at 65001. Let's have a look where this sits in the BGP root selection table. This is the Conware one again that I'm looking at, and it's down here at 0 0.6. So it's not as important as weight or local preference or the shortest AS path, but it is more important than whether a root is learned from eBGP or iBGP, which is important to remember for the demo that's coming up. And talking of demo, let's get right into it. Here's my setup for consistency. I'm going to use Comware VSRs again. I've got four VSRs, much like my previous video about weight and local preference. We've got the two AS65002 and AS65001. These VSRs 201 and 202 are going to be advertising this prefix 10 24 down to AS65001. And what we're going to do is we're going to use MED to manipulate the exit from AS65001 into 65002. Here I have SSH sessions into three of the VSRs, 101, 201, and 202. Let's have a look at the BGP configuration on VSR 101. So we've just got a couple of BGP sessions. One's an eBGP session and one is an iBGP session, which you can see over in this diagram here, eBGP and iBGP. So let's have a look at the BGP table. And we're getting that 1099 slash 24 prefix from eBGP and iBGP. And notice here, this is what we're interested in. So this is the med value here, and the default is zero. So it doesn't come into play. Now let's alter that. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a med value to this update that's the best path at the moment. So you can see the arrow there against this prefix coming from 2.1. And that is VSR201. So we go on to that device now and configure a med value. So med can be configured using a root map for specific prefixes or you can just put in a default value and that's the one I'm going to do here and that is with the default med command let's give it 50 check back down on VSR 101 so previously the best path was via 172.16 2.1 when both paths had zero as their med value the default value now if we look the 172.16.2.1 has got the med value of 50 and we can see that the best path is now a different path it's the one going via 4.1 so it's this one across here Remember, where we were looking at the root selection, a med is more important than whether it's eBGP or iBGP. So in this case, it doesn't matter that we have to go across an iBGP session to get to here. 
So this is actually in the diagram, it looks longer. The higher med value that's coming from 172.16.2.1 means that this is a less preferred path now. So we go across this way to 1099 slash 24. So let's manipulate that again by adding a higher med on VSR202. Again, using default med, let's make it 100, go back to VSR 101, there we go, the next top has changed, we've come back across, so the lower med, 172.16.2.1, so I hope there you can see the way that making the changes on this 65002 AS, you're actually encouraging or manipulating the best path for ingress traffic rather than with weight and local preference where it's egress traffic that you're manipulating. Okay, but there's an important additional point which I think that I should highlight, which is that by default, med from different AS is not compared. So this is something that's quite easy to forget and I know that I've made this mistake in the past where I've wondered why med coming from two different AS's is not affecting the best path option. It's because by default a BGP speaker will only compare meds if they come from the same AS. But this behavior is configurable. So whatever network devices you're using, whatever OS, there will most probably be a command that allows you to override this and make a BGP speaker compare MED from different ASs. With Cisco, it's the BGP always compare MED command, I believe. With Comware, we've got a similar command. So to illustrate this, I've got another demo. What I've done is the AS65002, I've split that up. So we've got VSR201 in one AS, and we've got VSR202 in another AS, this new AS65003. Same thing again, though, with this prefix. We're going to be injecting 1099-24, and we'll have a look down on the VSR101 about how it reacts to MED. Okay, going back to our devices then, uh, VSR202 is now in AS65003, I'll just show you that. Here's the configuration, and I've put a default med on of 100 already. So if we look down on the BGP routing table of VSR101, here we are, what we've got 1099 slash 24 it's being learnt from dot 2 so 201 and across the IBGP session from VSL 102 and at the moment we've got a med of 50 coming from 2.1 and a med of 100 coming from 4.1 so this is 4.1 with a med 100 there so remember that point that by default, and this is how it's set up, by default, med from two different ASs is, is not compared. So what I do here is up the med on 201 to prove that. So let's make that higher than the med that's coming from 202. I'll give it 101. And as you can see, there, 201 is still the preferred next top, 2.1. Still preferred, even though the med is higher. That's because we're not comparing. We're coming from two different AS. Now let's override that default behavior. And with Conware, it's the compare different AS med command. I enter that look at the routing table again and you can see 
that med is now being compared. So the one with the lowest med here across the 4.1 link to 202, that's the preferred path. Now the med value coming from two different ASs is being compared. Okay, so that was a closer look at the BGP Path Attribute Med. I hope you found that useful. Please like if you did or dislike if you didn't. And tell me your thoughts in the comment section. And please do subscribe to the channel. Feel free to check me out on Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. My name's Joe Neville and goodbye.